Well, hi there, and welcome in to the second episode of Cook, Serve, Delicious. And there goes my phone. Yeah, I really need to turn that off. <laughs> Alright, wonderful. Let's begin. So, how are you all doing, people? Um, I've just woken up. It's half past eight in the morning. Uh, it was confirmed what we had suspected. It is COVID. So, um, both my girlfriend and I have COVID. Um, I, so far, feel quite, quite okay, actually. Uh, I've just got a stuffy nose and uh, a bit of a raspy throat. So you might hear me be a bit more nasally. Uh, and also this is my morning voice. So yeah, I, I've got my cup of uh, tea here, uh, which I'm going to be um, gladly chugging as we go along here. And uh, probably having uh, quite a few coughs as well. So I'll uh, do my best to edit all of those out. But yeah, so far so good. I'm going to knock on my wooden desk here. It's, uh, it hasn't been that bad. Um, my girlfriend had essentially one day of, um, let's get in the day. Come on, let's start. My girlfriend had essentially one day of a fever and, um, uh, that was pretty much it. I think she, she threw up once as well. Uh, but, but that's... That's all that happened there. A fish at 9am. Sir, you are a national treasure. So we need a 15 times combo here. Uh, and uh, and for me, so far, even better. Uh, cheese, sour cream, better. Uh, yeah, uh, I... I don't know. Yesterday I might have had... Uh, yesterday I might have had... Um, uh, cheese, sour cream, butter, chives, bacon, onions. Uh, I might have had a bit of a fever in the afternoon, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I, I I do feel sick, I do feel sick for sure, um, but um, as I said in the last episode, I've had COVID before and it was way worse, um, well, way worse, I was out of it for, I want to say three days, I spent just in bed, you know, uh, this time I can just work and everything normally. Uh, of course I can't go out, you know, cheese, I can buy the bacon. Uh, but being a person who does most things from home anyway, this is not a, a cheese and sour cream. This is not that much of a hindrance. Uh, Thousand Island cheese, the bacon is not uh, That's a tricky one. That salad is a tricky one. I think it's called the Thousand Islands or something. Uh, ranch, gives carrots. So hopefully, your um, your weekend is doing a bit better there. Uh, what? I was one short of the combo I needed, bro. Did you see that? What did I do wrong there? Oh crap! Okay. I need to concentrate. There's not the killing house anymore, or what do they say in, uh, in Counter Strike? Cheese, sour cream, butter. A butter, chives, bacon. Ah, I can't believe I I screwed up on a on a baked potato. That was my first time screwing up a potato, I think. Ranch and cheese. Enjoy, sir. Flush the toilet real fast. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh... So, yeah. I, uh... My mother stopped by yesterday. And she, uh... She got me, um... Sour cream and onions. She got me some, uh... Vitamins and, uh minerals and just general uh, general things a thousand island cheese and bong come on two more 
can't fuck up a fish. Unless you leave the head on, but holy hell, you deserve to fuck that one up. Well, I suppose you can undercook it. You can fuck that up. Okay, let's not overflow this one, and bam, there's the combo. Done it. So yeah. So yeah, yesterday, the the first episode of Cook, Serve, Delicious was released. Um, I'm recording this a bit in advance. Uh, just in case I, just in case I get more sick and uh, can't, uh, you know, go actually lie in bed for a couple of days. So I've got thousand uh, nine greens and carrots. So I've got uh, some material recorded. But yesterday, for example, I um, yesterday I managed to. Uh, to write and record a whole song. <laughs> bacon, fruits, onions, peppers, greens, and carrots. Uh, cheese, sour cream, butter, chives, bacon, onions. Uh, yeah, I uh, I wrote uh, sour cream and onions. I wrote uh, an outro song. So uh, be sure to uh, stick to the end, actually, because you're going to hear. In this video, I don't know if it if it might have been used before this video. Um, I'm not sure. Cheese, sour cream, butter, uh, thousand island cheese, greens and carrots. Uh, but this might be the first video when it's used. Uh, it's a good song. I, I wrote us a little a little jingle. Um, uh, uh, butter, chives and bacon. Uh, cheese, sour cream, butter. Chives, bacon, onions, uh, ranch, greens, and carrots. Set the trap, flush the toilet, do the dishes every single chore at 8 a.m. p.m. But that's fine. So yeah, uh, stick around for that. And I'm also working on a bit of a rebrand. I've spoken about this in a, a previous episode. Um. And, uh, and sure, I can reveal now uh, what the new name is going to be, because I, I think Aegis just, just isn't that uh, uh, that suitable for this kind of content. Um, the new one is going to be Heartful. Uh, so, there you go. It's pretty good. Came up with that uh, 40 perfect day combo. It's pretty good, but... One average every time, every time. Um, so uh, yeah, it's like heartful, but uh, with a heart. Uh, so like a, a fireplace, heartful, or heart for short. I think it's gonna be cool. Um, I'm gonna keep the same logo, just change the color scheme, because you know now it's supposed to be a little. Uh, a little uh, smoke coming from a cup of coffee, and that can be uh, very easily just reinterpreted as, you know, smoke coming out of a hearth. Uh, and uh, I'll just change the color scheme, the purple and violet, I'll, uh, I'll change to uh, a cozy uh, a wood brown, and I think it's gonna be uh, very, very wonderful. So there you go, that's, uh, that's a little... A little uh, I don't know when that's going to be happening, because I don't have the source file for the logo here. It's on a laptop in Ljubljana, and nobody's there currently, because me and my girlfriend who live there are both at her parents' houses. Because uh, <coughs> me, because my girlfriend's at her parents' house, and I'm at my apartment in... Because my girlfriend's at her parents' house, and I'm at my apartment in uh, Novagritsa. So I might not be able to do it before the end of the week, we'll see. Uh, but I'll try to do it as fast as possible. At least change the name, I might change the name uh, earlier. Three cheers for you. I recently had a depressing day, but all I had to do was step into your restaurant and eat my problems away. Thank you so much for the food. Shares with the Well, there you go. Uh, that's how I commonly deal with um, boredom. Just eat my troubles away. We won Crazy Dave's bet, of course we did. Haha. <laughs> ha. 
God, what a dumb bet that was. Here's your darn $600, but I'll easily win it back next time. You just wait and see. Yeah, yeah, Chris Dave. We'll see. We'll see who sees. Uh, you'll notice that certain foods can be beneficial to have on your menu during certain times of day. They increase your buzz during that segment of the day only, or in some cases decreases. Uh, this type of buzz is known as flex buzz, and you can view it in the daily buzz menu. Plan accordingly, and you can offset poor positive buzz, uh, bad negative buzz quite efficiently. Alright. You now have an extra active menu slot unlocked. You can now place an extra food drink on your active menu. Ooh. And the garbage service is available for purchase. And also baked potato upgrade. Okay, I think we've got some upgrading to do over here, guys. Uh, let's see. Uh, garbage service, 750. All right. So that would leave us with uh, like 900, a little bit under 900. Uh, let's check the daily buzz. Yeah, we've got alcohol, we've got morning aroma. And we've got menu rot. Okay, let's get rid of menu rot. Uh, baked potato upgrade. What is this? Uh, it increases only by $2. Uh, it introduces the new spices, olives, and four new recipe cards. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade the bay, honestly. Uh... Oh, we could get a new food. What could we get? Huh. Hmm. Ha ha ha, maybe we could get a chicken breast. No, we cannot. It's expensive as hell. Ha, huh. well, okay. Specialty foods? Nothing here. One star required. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. So let's check our active menu, let's see what we can do. So baked potato flies out, lasagna goes in, and you can also put the steak on. That would put our buzz at 32%. Uh, now we do have the morning aroma, and we do have the minus 5 from the liquor. Uh, but overall I think it's pretty good. Um, if we took the beer off, we'd have to have super PS. No, fuck that. Yeah, they would. If they would have increased our buzz further, then maybe I would have gone for them. But no. So uh, let's start a new day. Uh, so yeah, today I'm gonna be after this, probably in the afternoon, uh, recording some. Uh, Guild Wars 2 as well. Uh, this has been uh, it's been a while since I played that. I said in the last uh, Cooks of Delicious uh, episode that I'd uh, record some Guild Wars 2 as well, but then I got busy uh, recording, well, writing and recording the outro song, so never got around to it. Christ, sorry, just had a big cough there. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised I managed to sing anything uh, with both of my nostrils blocked up and with a cough, but uh, it worked surprisingly well. I was sort of thinking what to have for lunch today. Uh, And you know, the thing is, I can't really go to the store, you know, because I've, I've got COVID. Uh, so I need to work with what I have at home. Uh, and uh, season, 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 juicy. And uh, season, twice juicy, and citrus. Uh, and I've got quite a few things at home. Uh, I am, as I've said before, a master of... Uh, pasta but pasta supposedly not the best thing to eat when you've got uh, covid a bit too uh, a bit too harsh uh, serve that get your beers out ranch is on his 
I almost screwed that one up. The SCR, man. The SCR is dangerous. Damn, everyone is coming in for the lasagna. It's good lasagna. It's selling really well. I wish we could have had a, a, a sort of a breakdown at the end of the day how many portions of which food we sold. Um, including the onions, peppers. Uh, I think it would have been quite help helpful uh, to sort of to be able to tell whether, oh, you know, the lasagna sold way more than the salad. I'm gonna replace the salad or some shit. But I digress. Hello there, sir. A nice beer for you. He didn't even have to stop that fast I was. Did you see that? He came in from the left and I poured his beer before he even stopped. He just kept on walking. Just grabbed the beer mid stride. That's fantastic. If that's not iron cook material, then I don't know what it is. Uh, season juicy juicy citrus. Oh, we hadn't uh, bought the the garbage disposal then. Uh, we might still do that. I mean, it's uh, eventually we want to get uh, every single one of the uh, season 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 and juice of the uh, of the chore the helper. Upgrades or whatever. Um, so that one is gonna be next, I guess. Uh, thousand iron cheese, onions, peppers, uh, ranch, cheese, bacon, croutons. Uh, just uh, as as long as the dishwashers here, I am satisfied. Like the other chores are not that bad at all. Um, Maybe the garbage, yeah. The garbage is definitely still worth getting. Uh, the mouse trap. I don't know. The mouse trap. It's really easy to do. It's really, really fast. And same goes for the. Uh, for the toilet. It's just. Not worth the money, I think. To get any upgrades there. We are just rushing through this rush hour. I'm impressed. Sanitize. Get that cooking for season juicy juicy citrus. Season juicy juicy citrus. Well, there we go. Look at this. Full work tickets going. So, uh, what have I been playing in my spare time? Uh, I have been playing uh, Guild Wars 2, actually. I've been playing a bit of Guild Wars 2. Uh, yesterday evening, and uh, the evening before that, I uh, I played quite a bit of World v. World on my uh, Guardian. It's, uh, it's a fun time, World v. World. I do not know how my build works. I'm playing a Dragon Hunter, and I think I'm really bad at it. Uh, but uh, just, you know, being in a zerg like that and uh, running around uh, capturing objectives uh, on Discord with like 30 people, 40 people, it's quite awesome, not gonna lie. Sorry that I had to, had to cough again. Alright, finally a perfect day. Uh, so we earned 27.5% positive buzz, that's quite okay, quite good. 55 orders, uh, quite good, quite alright I'd say. We've got over 2 grand now, we can afford some cool things. Uh, gadget reviews, P90L, uh, Quay99 again with another product to test from Electronic Electronics, the P090L. 
Here's the first of its kind designed to work with the home consumer in mind, previous models were docked on medical use only. The hot pad warms just as nicely as its business counterpart and the Thai gel seems to apply evenly. However, I had problems with the eye sensors and liquid carbon shaker that didn't quite get the consistency of my frozen margaritas right. Still, if you're in the medical and or bar business, this is a must buy. What? It's a... Okay, so hold up. It's... There's a Thai gel uh, and the hot pad. So I suppose the hot pad goes around your thighs. Uh, you apply the gel and then the hot pad around them. And then it warms your thighs. But it also has ice sensors and liquid carbon shakers to get the frozen margaritas. I kind of want that. If they made that for feet, that would be awesome. Because I always have cold feet for some reason. Uh... It doesn't matter. Is it 40 degrees Celsius outside? My feet are cold. Uh, hands, not so much. They get cold sometimes, but uh, uh, feet definitely more of a problem. Till it at night, Gabby's food travels Iraq. Gabby travels to Iraq to see if their cornbread rivals that of the Egyptian cornbread tried last season. Also, a trip to the Amazon in search of the buttery salt flour. Huh, well, that sounds like a cool job. Perfect day, yes, give me the money, Jeffrey Soto. Uh, mysterious tickets. Uh, what are they? What do they do? How do you use them? How many do you currently have? Where do they come from? Heck, if I know, I'm sure it'll make sense at some point, right? Weird. Well, we are watching you. Until then, keep these tickets safe. Two mysterious tickets ordered. And they go up here. Huh. Do you think it's something to do with the iron cook? The red pesticide is not available to open to purchase, uh, but we will not be. We will not be doing that. Uh, nachos upgrade available. We don't have nachos. We might have nachos. Uh, let us get first of all uh, the garbage service. I think that that's worth it. And now we're in the Middle Ages. I know, is, is this just a me thing? Or does anybody else think about money numbers or just any numbers um, so when they're like between 0 and 2000 as years? So, you know, 1591, I immediately go, oh, you know, the high middle ages. We're doing some, you know, cool crusading around there. No, crusades were a lot uh, a lot earlier, the original ones, but still, you know? Uh, anybody else do that? Especially with 1500, especially, but with all, all, uh, all numbers up to 2000. Uh, I don't know. It might be my uh, archaeology shining through. Alright, the fish flies off the menu. Uh... Do we want to get the burger? We can afford it, but we need the grill, so we won't be able to afford it then, probably. Unless the grill is like 300, which, it, which is not. Uh, but still, what's our buzz like? Hold up. Just the alcohol is the negative. Alright. Uh, can't get the breast. The wine, oh hell, no, we can't get that. It would be cool for wine to replace the beer, though, because it's probably just, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. If it holds up to five brands of wine, beer might be easier to do, because you've got just one beer to pour. If you have to pick between different wines based on the names, that could be a mess. Uh... Fried chicken? What would it do? It's a uh, fatty McFats. <coughs> if you have three of these, uh, then you get a minus 5% buzz. Uh, will decline in popularity today? Yeah. Customers never tip with this food. Uh, do we have any other fatty McFat fads? Uh, active menu. Uh, use the lasagna. How how can we can we check this? We can't. Oh no. Okay. View foods. Lasagna. 
lasagna is fatty big fats uh steak is not uh I think we might be able to get away with having fried chicken on there. Um, and if we get it, yeah, let, let's get it. Then I think we can still get uh, 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 a grill station. Yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll get the grill station and then we can get the burger next time. Okay, wonderful. Uh, active menu. Let's put the chicken on there. Uh, does the potato help? Nope. Okay, let's try out the chicken, see what happens. Another beautiful day here at the Sherry Soda Tower, Ranch Cheese and Bong, enjoy sir. Man, I'm gonna be saying this every episode of this, but I could really go for everything that I'm serving. Ah, uh, man. Again, another thing that's pre-uncharacteristic un un of uh, COVID. I've got full appetite. I could I could go for a uh, salad with everything on it next to a lasagna. Oh, I'd love a lasagna. Fuck. And the beer to go along with it. I really could. I really could. Maybe someday I'll cook for you. I was, uh, back when I was on Twitch, I was, I had aspirations of making a, a cooking stream sometime. Okay, oh, there's nothing to do here. It's just dunk it and place it in bowl. It takes a long time to do, though. Huh. It takes a long time to do, but it doesn't take as much space as the uh, steak, because the steak needs to uh, cook. You press it and then it takes a while. Uh, uh, lift and throw. Oh, just two bags now that we've got disposal services. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's get this. Uh, come on. Uh, two, three. Mushrooms, mushrooms, greens, and carrots. Dunk that. Get your beer, sir. Lasagna. Don't mind if I do dunk on the chicken uh, get another lasagna in the making serve three dunk four a thousand iron cheese greens and carrots serve three get the beer uh, get the beer flush the toilet season 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 juice season 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 juice again you too with the same steak at the same time I bet you dated by now. Baranda and uh, Jerry over there. Nice to see you guys back in here. I'll be checking if you sit at the same table. There you go, I'm gonna wait for Miranda's take to be done as well, so we can go sit together. Perfect combo so far. Uh, ranch, cheese, onions, peppers. Let's not fuck it up now, shall we? You can't see it, but I'm dancing along with the music. Let's get the steak. Season, 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 juice. Uh, I think at six. Uh, the rush hour begins, so we should get these steaks out the way before that happens. <laughs> to free up our work tickets, rice, cheese, bacon, onions, peppers. On the fall. Crack the old knuckles, get everything prepared for the rush hour. I almost Wanted to press P to place it in bowl, but it's not chicken, it's beer. That'd be pretty funny though. I, w I wanted to do it again. I wanted to do it again. And... 
A rush hour is upon us. Uh, season, season, season juice. Uh, Bam, three, get the beer. Bam, four. PSCR, PSCR. Season, juicy, juicy, citrus. Get the beer. Bam. Lasagna done, steak done. Three, lift, throw, lift, throw. Sanitize. The brewski coming right up. I always underfill them. Flush the toilet as you do in the middle of a rush hour. Season, 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 juice. Uh, dunk that. I'm not too big of a fan of uh, fried chicken, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, ranch cheese on his weapons. No, in real life, uh, no, in Cooks of Delicious. Um, I've. Uh, season, juicy, juicy, citrus. Uh, season, 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 juice. 3 4. That was a perfect rush hour. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you too. Ram cheese, bang scrubs. I feel like fried chicken is. Uh, I don't know. I never got it. IRL. It just doesn't have that much flavor, you know? Like, chicken by itself is a pretty plain meat. Um, and if you just fry it, it's not gonna really help a lot. Yeah, you've got the seasonings and everything, but. I prefer chicken in a, in a, in more flavorful situations like a, like a curry maybe oh oh why did I start thinking about curry ah I love me some uh, tandoori chicken for example holy shit when you like marinate it overnight in uh, garam masala and uh, and all sorts of different things. Have you ever had that? Comments below. Are you a fan? Season, season, season juice. I am a very big fan. In uh, in Ljubljana, there's a there's a restaurant really close to where I live. Uh, that's like a, a fast. F well, yeah, I guess it's a fast food Indian restaurant. But you know, you sit down, you have your soup and everything. Uh, and uh, and they've got each day like four different choices for student meals and uh, and they everything everything you get from them is just bloody amazing um so shout out to namaste indian express in ljubljana wonderful i've befriended the uh the waitress uh we i've been going there like a few times a week for the past two years so we became quite quite friends but uh uh, I haven't seen her for the past two weeks. I don't know. I don't know what happened. She might have COVID. A very, very uh, real, a real concern. Holy shit! That's a lot of emails. Well, we'll go through them next time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, um, and I will see you all very, very soon uh, in the next episode of Gildo Stu or Cooks of Delicious or whatever comes out after this. Thank you again. Love you. Take care now. Bye bye then. Thank you for your time. For sharing it with me. Hope I made your day a bit more chill. Now go upon your way. And soon we'll meet again. But until then, like and subscribe. Good night.